What's going on, Charles Bonston? Today is going to be one of the best topics that actually uh, essentially will change the way you look at things. So I recently got a text message. I talked a little bit about this on Sunday, which was I got a text message from someone that put something on Instagram and people were messaging her and saying she posted on Instagram that she was blogging now, you know, blogging. And she was getting comments and messages saying, oh, you're, you know, sarcastically were saying, oh, you're now blogging. Oh, that's fun. That's exciting. Listen, it's going to happen to you anytime you do something different. So in other words, if you, if you stop working out and your friends are gym rats or people that go to the gym, they're going to say, why did you stop working out? The opposite is true, is that if you are a part of people that, a group of people that don't go to the gym and then you start going to the gym, they're going to start giving you a little slack. Just like this girl. This girl, she doesn't hang out with bloggers, you know, but a blogger usually hangs out with other bloggers. Bloggers hang out with other bloggers. And when you do something outside of what your group normally does, then you're going to be called out on it. So get used to it. So how does this actually relate to me? I'll tell you right now, we're, I think we were filming number nine today, vlog number nine right here. And publicly, people love it. I, get not, I got 800 views on Facebook, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually, you know, it's higher than most of my other videos. I had, I think, 36 likes and, you know, five or six comments or whatever the case is. It got good traction for only, it's funny, my, my phone is now ringing on my computer. It got a lot of good traction. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. Privately, I received messages of, you're embarrassing the real estate industry, you shouldn't be doing this, what are you talking about? You have, a, you have someone following you around like Gary Vaynerchuk, ha 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 ha, you know, laugh with the tears coming down. And you're thinking about it, it's like, why would they shoot that message privately, number one? Number two is, what are they doing in life? You know, who, where is the feedback coming from? When you do anything new, you're gonna have that bell curve. Okay, it's gonna be crazy in the beginning. You're gonna feel like you shouldn't do it because that's where you get all the slack and then you say screw it or you just go down and you stop it. Okay, you don't see results and you see people giving you crap for what you're doing, whether you're blogging, you're going to the gym, you're uh, now in shape, you're making more money, whatever the case is, whatever you're doing differently and then you get known for doing that or you get known for that person. I'll give you another example is that uh, and then I'll talk about how the feedback comes through. My buddy, uh, Jared, great guy, and I went to college with him, played rugby with him, and he recently opened a gym, actually not recently, about two years ago, opened a gym. He was really never a workout guy. He actually ate a lot, he drank a lot, he didn't, he didn't eat too healthy. However, he opened a gym, and now he's like ripped out of his face, he's lifting ridiculous amounts of weight, so he's known as that. That's what he posts on Instagram, that's who he is. But in the beginning, people are like, oh, you're, you're, you're that guy that, that posts, you know, lifting weights, going to the gym, things like that. And they gave him slack, 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 slack. Six months later, okay, not as much. A year later, not as much. He opens a gym and then guess what? Praise. Congratulations. I knew you'd do it. Or congratulations. You really surpassed what we thought you would actually be doing. Opens another gym. That's now two gyms. He's known as that guy now. Okay, so you're gonna get it in the beginning, they're gonna question you. If you keep on going, you're gonna have that all subside. When you really, really keep on going where people see you as that gym guy or that guy that's wealthy or that person that's in shape, you're actually, and I'll get to something very important right now, right after this, is that you're gonna get to be known as that person and then praised. Here's the, here's the extra layer is that you're gonna question yourself just as much as other people question you. You're gonna question yourself. You're gonna say you start going to the gym and, and you start seeing abs or results or your arms start getting bigger, you start lifting more weights. Do you sabotage your results? Do you sabotage the success that you're now seeing? Do you sabotage and not go to the gym as much? Do you not eat as healthy? Do you, do you sabotage your success if you're making sales calls? Say you make sales calls, you make 100 sales calls for whatever amount of days and then all these sales start coming in. Do you sabotage the results because you've never had that amount of money? It's the lottery winner that sabotages and they start spending money because they've never had that amount of money. And then they're broke. Or that, that, that basketball, football, hockey, baseball guy, you know, like Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling, I think, made $100 million and lost it all 
because he never had that amount of money in life. That was, that was him just giving it out. Floyd Mayweather just literally just gives out money, gives out money, gives out money. You know, Mike Tyson just gave out money, gave out money. He made, I think, $500 million, 500, half a billion dollars. And this guy literally was in bankruptcy court, 50 cent. Whether it was actually true or not, because he took a picture stupidly of a bunch of money on a bed and while he was in bankruptcy court and like, what are you doing, bro? You're taking a picture of money, but you're bankrupt? So that's the thing is, are you sabotaging the results once you start getting the results? You're gonna get the haters, get used to the haters. Actually welcome the haters, welcome the rejection. Why? Because that means you're doing something right. As long as it's legal and moral and ethical, Go ahead, starting this vlog, people shot those private messages and I'm sitting there thinking, who is the person that's actually giving the feedback? Is it someone that I respect for what they've done in life? Is it someone that actually I look at as a mentor or I'm their mentee, whatever the case is? What, where are you on the totem pole compared to them? If you're the same level or even a little bit below them, so in other words, these are people that I looked up to about nine years ago in real estate, now I don't because I'm gonna go far and above where they are right now, okay? We, we are gonna be growing and they are right now, they're on their trajectory going down, but those are the people that happen to be shooting me a private message saying, dude, what are you doing? I'm not gonna take that kind of feedback. Like, what is that feedback to me? Nothing, all right? So know and use the haters, I hate that word, or the people that give you feedback or slack. Feedback is a little bit different, but slack for what you're doing, don't listen to them. Subscribe to the video, leave your comments below. What is one thing that you're gonna be trying in 2018 or in the coming months, if this is after 2018, in the coming months that you're probably, number one is different and number two is you're probably gonna get slack for it. Leave it in the comments below, like, and sh like share and subscribe. I'm gonna be speaking publicly. So that's my goal 2018, we're gonna be expanding, we're gonna be doing live video, so I'm gonna get slack for that, I'm gonna mess up, but whatever, it's all part of a journey. Have an awesome day, talk to you guys soon.